And the Bible tells us that everything the Lord reveals to Samuel that night. Verses 11 through 14 tell us everything. But here's the clincher. Here's how we all can get closer and have a better relationship with God. It's so easy. The Bible explains it. Look at verse 19. Uh, the Bible says, And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and let none of his words fall to the ground. Verse 20. And all of Israel, from Dan even to Beersheba, near that knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord. Verse 21, and the Lord appeared again in Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by what? By the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord. Yes. Somebody should give God some praise. Yes. See, because it was the word of God that revealed his presence. Yes. So we, we understand it's from the word of God that he is revealed. Mm. How, how many of us today just want a word from God? How, how many today just want to hear his voice? Oh, I'm about to take my seat, but, but how many, how many born again, Bible token, scripture quoting saints of God just want to hear a word today? I stopped by here to tell you this morning, my brothers and my sisters. You may hear the word, you may hear God calling you in your life. Amen. And the only reason you're not sure that it's God, the only reason that you don't know that it's God who's calling, is because you don't have call out me. <laughs> see, 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 my advice to you is get into the word of God. Read it, study it, hide it in your heart. So when you hear the Spirit calling, not only will you answer, but you'll know who it is that's calling. See, because when the Spirit speaks to me, I've got to answer. Oh, wait a minute. I just got a call. I'm sorry, I got to take this. I'm sorry, it's Exodus 3 and 14. You, you see, it's from my boss, and I got to take this call. It's my boss who is the great I am. And, and when he talks, I got to listen. So, uh, I thank God for calling ID this morning. Uh, see, you might not have heard it ring because it wasn't for you. I'm sorry, wait a minute. I got another call. I'm sorry, it's from my motivational coach. Uh, Jeremiah 20 and 9 and I've got to take this see because when my motivational coach speaks I've got to do something about what he said see because his words they like fire shut up in my bones and when he talks I've got to listen I thank God for calling ID do you thank God for calling ID this morning oh wait wait I got another call it's from my friend, Psalm 23. I'm sorry, it's from a shepherd. I've got to take this because he's my shepherd. That's why I shall not walk. And when he talks, i got to listen. Thank God for caller ID. Oh, I'm sorry, it's ringing again. I got another call. It's Philippians 4 and 19. It's from my provider. I got to take this. You see, because he supplies all of my need. According to his riches in glory. So I got to listen. And I thank God for calling ID. It's ringing again. Oh, I got another call. It's from Romans 8 and 38. It's from my counselor. I gotta take this because you know why? Because I am persuaded that neither death, nor right, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I got call ID. Oh, 
it, it, it's ringing again, y'all. This time it's from my healer. Uh, Isaiah 53 and 5. It says he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. The transgression of my sin was upon his shoulders. And by his stripes, I am healed. I thank God I got Paula ID. See, once he starts calling, he keeps calling you. I got another call. Oh, this time it's from my comforter. John 14 and 1. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Because in my father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place, I'm coming back to bring you unto myself. And where I am, there he may be also. I got pro-ID. And I thank God for it. God bless you. You know, back in the day, we used to say Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. I got one more call. It's for John 3.16. It's for my Redeemer. And he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you have power? I need this morning. Can you recognize when the spirit of the Lord calls you up, dials your number, and calls your name? Call ID. If you don't have it, you better get it. If you don't have it, you better get it. Got problems? I do. Call it. I do. We praise God this morning for the spirit of the Lord in this place. Let's give God a hand clap of prayer. Thank mm -hmm. you.